So yes, this is the new honorable mention medal, and I have three honorable mentions for um for the scores. Those were Casino Royale, The Mammoth, Golden Gun, Skyfall, in that order. Number 10 is a score which I think is really well done, but the one thing I don't like about it is they really overdo the Bond theme song itself. Oh, and just a quick note, I mean throughout the entire movie. Obviously right here, they don't have it. Number nine is a really good score, so don't yell me for having it this low, it's just I think the other ones are better. Now what I like about this score is that every individual, you know, I guess song in this movie is really well done, it's just I think the top eight they have just more fun music to listen to especially i believe number seven um obviously that was goldfinger and number eight is i have it here solely because i ranked this one lower than number seven in the previous video so i'm gonna keep the tradition alive even though i'm kind of changing my opinion on it this song's really growing on me and i don't know if i ever redo this list one day it could be a top five A lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on this, but I think the score for, Moon for Moonraker is the best thing in the entire movie. Number seven, and this is what I was talking about earlier, as much as I love Moonraker's score, I think they're both very good and they flip-flop for me a lot. And um, it really comes down to which you like more, more exciting music or more just better music overall. And... When I watch these films, they really flip-flop for me, and I know I keep saying that word, it's just they really do, and I think, as of right now, I like The Spy Who Loved Me more. Number six is an example of when I think the theme song is used very well in the score, and that's for Octopussy. I think this is arguably the best example of that. I think it's... It's not... The, the theme song of Octopussy is not as much a theme song as it is a good score music, and I think they use it very well, I know they overuse it, but they use it very well throughout the entire movie. Number five, I think, is, an, it is a perfect example of that, and although I don't think it's a great theme song, I think it's, if it was just score music, it's perfect, it's, it fits the film as well as any other Bond film to score, and I think I think it's a very underrated score and theme song, and I'm disappointed it isn't mentioned more in those categories. Number four features arguably my most favorite theme song, so you'd think it would be number one if it was used in score. It's just, as much as I love it, I think the top three are better. I think it's a fantastic song and matches the music perfectly, and I couldn't imagine a Live and Let Die without this theme song and score, and I think it's just, it's perfect. I love it so much. Number three, I think, is the most underrated score on the entire series, and that's Living Daylights. I just love it so much. I think it's best used in the, um, in the fight scene between, you know, the henchman and Bond on the plane, you know, in the back. And I, it matches the film so well, and I'm very happy that they didn't do as much the theme song, more as like a, a twist on it, and that's really what I like about the score the most. Number two was originally my number one. The only reason it isn't is because I'm not too keen on the middle of the score, and that's Goldeneye. The beginning and the end of this movie have the best score in the entire series, undoubtedly. It's just, 
I think the middle of the score is really, really bad, and that's why it's not number one. Number one, you'll see why it's number one, but I just think it's so well used, and it, it's really... I like how they did a reboot with this movie, and here, here's the ending of it. And I just think it's really well done and put together, and I like how they got a new conductor to put the score together. Number one, it's kind of cheap to even rank this, but that's why I didn't do it for the theme songs. That's Dr. No. Um, the reason I rank this score number one is because, although I didn't count Dr. No for the theme songs, the reason I didn't count that is because the theme song, it doesn't go into all the other scores, whereas the score for this movie, it's a part of literally every other Bond score, and that's why it's so good. The theme song for Dr. No you don't hear it in any other Bond theme song. Well, for the most part. And whereas with this score, it's just so good. And I think it's it's perfect. Please don't kill me for having gold fingers that low. But for the most part, how did I do? I think, I don't think I'm right. But I, I'm confident with my decisions. Leave, leave a comment below and we'll compare lists. Next time, we're going to be looking at the top 10 Bond cars. And remember... For each new subscription, there's a new video, so hit subscribe now.